Good morning and happy hump day, folks. Um, I can't believe we're already halfway through the week. Well, not quite halfway through the week, but it's hump day. You know, that's just how it is. Um, okay, let's get to my low, my high, back to kindness. Um, definitely my low was the weather because, um, I'm getting real sick and tired of getting cold when it shouldn't. Like, okay, if it's like raining outside like it did yesterday, all right. Not ideal, but at least I'd rather make, have the rain be the reason why it's cold. But it's like, we're supposed to be in, actually late August now. Like, why is it cold in the morning? I do not like that. Oh, here's the thing. I don't like it, but at the same time, you know, I would like fall stuff to come back. I mean, I definitely am looking forward to when, you know, all fall related things happen. Like football, leaves turning different colors, pumpkin spice, of course. <laughs> the closer we get to the return of pumpkin spice, the more pleased my inner white girl will be. Everyone has a new white girl. Okay, so, um, for sure my uh, low was, has been the weather. My high was, hmm, what was my high? Well, I finished watching Exploding Kittens for the third time. I don't know why, that show just makes me giggle so much. So, um, I mean, I already did a video on Exploding Kittens, but, uh, yeah, watch Exploding Kittens again. Uh... And it's also so weird because, um, you know what, I gotta say, my, my high was also yesterday's video. I forgot how good it was to talk about Mom Food Chronicles again. I mean, again, I promise I'll be better about doing them, but I also want to be careful of, um, because there's only so many foods I ate growing up that I want to talk about that. You know, I mean, yeah, this is a sort of video series I will end, but not to like, I don't want to end that soon. Like when I did the class and session videos all throughout, um, uh, like 2020 to a, to like summer 2021, that was okay because like, you know, I was already doing that every Saturday and plus, you know, you know, I, I talked about every class I had all throughout high school. So, that was meant to end the way it did. Mom Food Chronicles, though, I definitely want to keep it going for as long as I can. And if I have to take, like, kind of a long hiatus in between videos for that, it's okay. Um, you can think of the Mom Food Chronicles as... You know, I don't want to make that comparison. I do not want to make that comparison. I do not want to make that comparison because I know that there are people out there who are huge Hunter Hunter fans and I don't want to do that. Um, so, my high was doing yesterday's video, surprisingly, and my, it's weird. I've been doing low, lows, highs, and acts of kindness since day 937. Almost 1,500 days. And I can't really recall a time when I ever had the video I made be the high for the day. It's so crazy. Um, okay, so with that said, my act of kindness was, well, I should do a lot of things, uh, empty fill the dishwasher, um, empty the humidifier, uh, shoot, there's a few other things I did. Oh, the garbage. Duh. Uh, today's in the garbage day, so I took the garbage out for my folks. Everything I did, I did for my folks. So, um, yeah. That's, uh, that's about it. Um, hmm. Well, you know what, I said there wouldn't be such a long hiatus between Mom Food Chronicles. So you know what? Why not do another one? Um, 
And it's funny, I did French toast yesterday. Why not do pancakes? So, <laughs> okay, but I, I promise, like, there'll be at least some time in between my Food Chronicle videos, but listen, I'll be honest, this week has been slow. Like, nothing is going on. Like, the only thing of note yesterday outside of, you know, yesterday's video being my high was there's a party I'm getting ready for on Saturday, and I got the stuff, and I got all the uh, items I need to make stuff for it. So, I took care of that, which felt great. Um, so, yeah, I really could do a mom food grind on pancakes, couldn't I? So, a bit of backstory. When my father was growing up, there were two adult figures in his life that he hung out with a lot. They were almost, you could almost say they were his godparents, even though these two weren't practicing Catholics and therefore, you know, they didn't really, um, yeah, they didn't really do the whole, like, baptism. Well, actually, did my father have any god? Well, my father did have godparents, but these two, let's call them, like, pseudo-godparents. Let's say that much. Their names were, um, oh, here's the thing, I actually don't remember the last names, but it was uh, his Aunt Dottie, or Dorothy, and his Uncle Nicky, who I named after, surprisingly enough. It was my Uncle Nicky, who is the reason why everyone refers to my dad as Buddy. It's true, because uh, growing up, you know, it was my Uncle Nick, he called my dad Buddy, and, you know, eventually everyone else in his family started calling him Buddy. Word spread out to all the uh, friends of the family, and they started calling him Buddy. By the time my dad was probably like 18 years old, everyone in the city of Corning referred to my father as Buddy, to some capacity. And it's only been, and it's pretty much remained the same for the rest of his entire life. Now, I actually never got to meet Uncle Nicky as he had died before I was born. He was a heavy smoker and I, I don't want to say he had lung cancer, but I know that his cause of death was through complications from smoking. Now, my Aunt Dottie never, never smoked. However, because Uncle Nicky smoked a lot secondhand, that's ultimately what got her. In fact, it actually got her so bad that uh, they legit removed a whole lung from her. That, that's, how, that's how bad it was. Full disclosure, my only like memory of Aunt Dottie because I remember she had like kind of poofy white hair, but also she had a, um, a tube in her nose because, you know, she needed oxygen. I mean, honestly, as a dumb, not even four year old, you know, I, I didn't really question it. I just thought it was one of those things. So, um, believe it or not, when my dad started dating my mom, naturally, one of the people that he almost introduced right away was Aunt Dottie and Uncle Nicky. And they had dinners together a lot, but more importantly, my Aunt Dottie would make pancakes. And, you know, my mom loved her pancakes, and I pretty much grew up with those pancakes, as my mom actually got the recipe for those pancakes from my Aunt Dottie. So, um, I think it's about time I told you all a little bit of um, a bit of a sad story. Obviously, I don't know much of the details of like the first, we'll say three first two Christmases I had because I was I was born after Christmas, December twenty eighth. Obviously, Christmas age zero, Christmas age one, Christmas age two. I have no idea what they are. 
Christmas age three, I actually spent in the hospital because literally Christmas Eve, my dad was giving me a bath and I had a febrile seizure. So I had to spend Christmas and a couple of extra days in the hospital. Very, very sad. A year later, I was about to turn four. And it was Christmas day. Now we uh, got, and here's the thing. My Aunt Dottie was already, you know, on the verge of, not like, not that I think, not that I thought she was ever gonna die, because again, I'm like not even four years old. Of course, I don't know the difference yet. But I remember going to like the hospital a lot to try and see her or something like that. I Again, I, I can barely remember any of this. But I won't ever forget what happened on Christmas Day, right before I was about to turn four. So I believe Christmas of 1993. Um, this was shortly after my brother and I had opened our, you know, Christmas presents. And, you know, I'm walking around, I'm in the kitchen, I'm in, I, I forget what I was in the kitchen for, but my dad picks up the phone because he receives a phone call. I don't know what specifically he heard, oh, oh, there's one thing, I don't know the entirety of the conversation that he heard on the phone. All I know is that after um, my dad hung up the phone, my mom walks in and she asks what happened. And then it was, and then my dad just very bluntly, very sternly, but also very sadly said, actually I don't think, I don't think sternly is the right word. I think more um, subdued, I guess. Which is, but straight up, he said, Aunt Dottie died. And then my mom all but collapsed in just pure crying and sadness. I mean, I know, I'm sure I've seen my, I had seen my mom cry before, but it was never like this. Like, this devastated her. I mean, I'm sure it devastated a lot of people. I mean... Full disclosure, I mentioned my Uncle Nicky earlier. My parents were actually in the room, in the hospital room, when um, my Uncle Nicky had died. And, I mean, listen, I told myself a goal in life I had to never witness death. Unfortunately, I did witness it myself on December 18th, 2018, as I was in the hospital room when my Aunt Kathy died. But, I can only imagine just how much it changes a person to witness death to that, like that up close. And considering that how sad my mom was when my Aunt Dottie died, you know, if it was like in the hospital, I don't know how she'd react. Although, I mean, thankfully, thankfully, I think my parents um, had the foresight to not expose my brother and I to that at such an early age, because my brother would have been about to turn five that next April, and I was about to turn four. So in a way, I'm glad we never really got to experience anything like that it's so young, even though, for all accounts, maybe it'd be a good thing if you did. I mean, again, I didn't really understand the concept of how death really, what, how bad death really can be until I was about six. So this is like a few years before that. But, you know, Christmas Day, 1993, I can remember just getting ready to walk out of the kitchen. Mom walks in after my dad receives the phone call. Mom asks what happened. And my dad says, Aunt Donnie died. And then she just started crying. I dare say she cried that entire day. I mean, listen, I didn't really get a chance to know Uncle Nicky or Aunt Dottie. I remember when I was a kid, I really was bummed. I never really got to meet Uncle Nicky. I mean, to meet the guy who I named after, that'd be pretty cool. Fun fact, 
I was actually almost named after my grandfather. My name almost would have been Richard. Pretty cool, huh? Although, funny enough, it was my grandfather said, don't call him Richard. This is dumb. Then again, I think my grandfather knew that there was another name for Richard that um, I don't know if it's okay for me to say on camera. Even though I probably have said it before, but I can't remember. Point is, you know, I'm named after Uncle Nicky. And I never got to meet him. The one sole artifact, let's say, from my Aunt Dottie and Uncle Nicky is my Aunt Dottie's pancake recipe. And for pretty much my entire life, those are the pancakes that I grew up with. If that's the one thing I have of Aunt Dottie and Uncle Nicky's legacy. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some photos, of course, and, you know, I've heard stories, sure. But in terms of something that's, like, really tangible, that I can associate good and fond memories of growing up, it's the pancakes. It is. There's just no other way around it. I mean, there was a time growing up, I was obsessed with having these pancakes, man. And to some degree, I guess I still am. I mean, not that I actively ask my mom to make them if I visit or something like that. But these pancakes are just so good. And again, to this day, my mom still has the recipe. She has the recipe for something else, too. But uh, that's something else I want to save for... Okay, I've been to this before, but there's two Mom Food Chronicles I really want to save for the very end. The recipe I just mentioned that my mom's also saved that's not the pancakes, that's actually what I'm saving for second to last. So that will be a video for a different day. So, I'm going to try to, uh, um, huh. You know, I did French toast yesterday, I did pancakes today. I could also do waffles tomorrow. Maybe I might do just that. So the uh, Mom Food Chronicles, do a sort of trilogy of Mom Food Chronicles. So, yeah, I guess you can say this part too. I hope you all like this video, like this channel, YouTube channel, on social media. As always, I'm very well. I'm this video for all you guys who watch everything. It'll be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wednesday. Remember, if you guys want to talk to you, we're here to let you back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.